Welcome to YQ Academy SQL Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is a transaction? What are asset properties? In the context of databases, a transaction is a logical unit of work that consists of one or more database operations such as inserts, updates, or deletes that are executed as a single, indivisible unit. Transactions ensure data consistency and integrity by providing the following properties, commonly referred to as asset properties. 1. Atomicity. Atomicity guarantees that a transaction is treated as a single, indivisible unit of work. It means that either all the operations within the transaction are successfully completed, or none of them are applied to the database. If any part of the transaction fails, the entire transaction is rolled back and the database remains unchanged. Atomicity ensures that data remains in a consistent state. 2. Consistency. Consistency ensures that a transaction brings the database from one valid state to another. It means that the data is subject to integrity constraints, domain constraints, and other rules defined in the database schema. Transactions preserve the integrity of the data and enforce data consistency rules. 3. Isolation. Isolation ensures that concurrent transactions do not interfere with each other. Each transaction is executed as if it were the only transaction running on the database, even when multiple transactions are executing simultaneously. Isolation prevents concurrent transactions from seeing or modifying intermediate or inconsistent states of other transactions. It ensures that transactions appear to execute sequentially, maintaining data integrity and preventing conflicts. 4. Durability. Durability guarantees that once a transaction is committed, its effects are permanent and survive any subsequent failures, such as power outages or system crashes. Committed changes are stored in non-volatile memory such as disk storage and can be recovered even in the event of a system failure. Durability ensures that data changes made within a committed transaction are persistent and can be rallied upon. 2. What are indexes? Indexes are data structures that improve the speed of data retrieval operations on database tables. An index is created on one or more columns of a table, and it provides a quick reference or lookup mechanism for locating specific rows based on the values in those columns. Indexes play a crucial role in optimizing query performance and enhancing database efficiency. 3. What are primary keys and foreign keys? Primary key. A primary key is a column or a set of columns in a table that uniquely identifies each row. It ensures that each record in the table is uniquely identifiable and provides a way to access and manipulate individual rows. Primary keys must satisfy the following criteria. I. Unique. Each value in the primary key columns must be unique, ensuring that no two rows have the same key value. I. I not null. The primary key columns cannot contain null values, as null is not considered a valid identifier. III immutable. Once a primary key is assigned to a row, it should not change. Modifying the primary key violates data integrity. By defining a primary key, you enforce data integrity and enable various database functionalities, such as enforcing entity uniqueness and enabling relationships with other tables. Foreign key. A foreign key is a column or a set of columns in a table that establishes a link or relationship to the primary key of another table. It represents a referential constraint between two tables. Foreign keys create relationships between tables and ensure data consistency by enforcing referential integrity. They define rules for the relationships between tables, preventing actions that would result in orphaned or inconsistent data. A foreign key in one table refers to the primary key in another table, creating a parent-child relationship. When a foreign key is defined, it can have the following effects. I. Referential integrity. The foreign key ensures that the values in the referencing columns exist in the referenced primary key columns. I. I. Cascading actions. Cascading actions define what happens to the dependent records in the child table when the referenced record in the parent table is modified or deleted. Common options include cascading updates and cascading deletes. Not all relationships between tables require for and keys. They are used when you want to enforce referential integrity and establish clear relationships between tables. Example. 
In this example, the customer ID column in the customer's table is the primary key, uniquely identifying each customer. The customer ID column in the orders table is a foreign key that establishes a relationship with the customer ID primary key column in the customer's table. This ensures that orders in the orders table can only reference existing customers in the customer's table, maintaining referential integrity. 4. What are the advantages of SQL? 1. Ease of use. SQL has a straightforward and intuitive syntax that allows users to interact with databases using simple commands. The declarative nature of SQL enables users to focus on specifying what they want to retrieve or manipulate, rather than the details of how to do it. 2. Highly portable. SQL is a standardized language recognized by the International Organization for Standardization ISO. This standardization ensures that SQL commands and statements can be used across different database systems with minimal modifications. It provides portability and flexibility, allowing applications to be easily migrated between different database platforms. 3. Data Retrieval and Manipulation SQL provides powerful and efficient tools for retrieving, filtering, sorting, and manipulating data stored in relational databases. With SQL, users can construct complex queries to extract specific information from large data sets, join data from multiple tables, perform calculations, aggregate data, and more. 4. Data Integrity and Constraints SQL allows the definition of various constraints on database tables to ensure data integrity. Constraints such as primary keys, unique keys, foreign keys, and check constraints enforce data accuracy, consistency, and relationships between tables. They help maintain data integrity and prevent the entry of invalid or inconsistent data. 5. Scalability the SQL databases are known for their scalability and ability to handle large amounts of data. SQL offers efficient indexing mechanisms, query optimization techniques, and the ability to partition data across multiple servers, enabling databases to handle increased workloads and perform well even with substantial data growth. 6. Data Security The SQL databases offer robust security features to protect data. SQL allows the definition of access control rules, user permissions, and authentication mechanisms to ensure that only authorized users can access and manipulate data. Additionally, SQL supports encryption and other security measures to safeguard sensitive data. 7. Concurrency and Transaction Control The SQL provides mechanisms for managing concurrent access to data and ensuring data consistency. Transactions in SQL allow multiple operations to be grouped together as an atomic unit of work, ensuring that either all changes within a transaction are committed or none of them are. SQL also provides transaction isolation levels to control the visibility and interaction of concurrent transactions. 8. Data Analysis and Reporting SQL provides a rich set of functions and operators for data analysis and reporting. Users can perform complex calculations, aggregations, filtering, and grouping operations to derive meaningful insights from data. SQL is often integrated with various reporting and analytics tools, making it a powerful language for data analysis. This is the end of our SQL interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.